If we were to go to a foreign country, a country where we don't know the native language, life would be much more difficult. Unless and until we have a skilled translator, our prospects of receiving what we need are very thin. Even though we don't go to different countries every day, although we communicate with someone who does not understand any human language. A computer. We speak to a computer through a high-level programming language. But did you know guys that the programming language isn't the ultimate language that a computer understands? We have system software known as compilers and interpreters that helps computers understand our programming languages. What are these compilers and interpreters? Are they the same? Is there any difference between compilers and interpreters? On that note of many questions, I welcome you all to this session on interpreters and compilers. In this video, we are going to discover solutions to the, all the queries that are present on your screen. But before we do that, I request all of you guys to enable that subscribe button and bell icon so that you never miss any update from us. Having said that, let's get started with the session. First of all, we shall talk about what is compiler. So guys, basically both the compiler and interpreters are softwares that are designed to make computers understand the set of commands or programs that the user is providing through high level languages. You guys must be knowing that computers only understand the machine level code or what is commonly known as binary code comprising of only zeros and ones. Furthermore, the compiler follows the syntax rule of programming language that is being used. Because of that, if the syntax of the program does not match the analysis of compiler, an error arises that has to be corrected manually in the program that you have written. If your written program is correct, that it does not contain any error, then the compiler will convert your entire source code into machine code. Guys, the critical thing I want you all to make note of is that the compiler will convert your whole program into machine level language all at once. To make more sense of the last statement, let me sort of give you an example. Let's say you have discovered some habitable planet where aliens are staying. And after reaching there, somehow your spaceship had some sort of malfunction. Now, there are many aliens out there to help you, but they don't understand the structure of your spacecraft, nor do they understand your language. In this scenario, you need two proper things, one translator and one mechanic. Now let's say this translator resembles a compiler and mechanic computer. Now let's say this translator resembles a compiler. So once you give the instruction list to the compiler, it will convert the whole list into the alien language and then that list will be presented to the mechanic. And then he will implement the assigned instructions. This is quite fast methodology. And if there is any syntactical error, the compiler will tell you this command is not clear and you should change it. This is what we call an error, which will be manually recovered by us or the person who is giving instruction. However, the thing here is that if you get to know that there was one problem with one particular instruction, then remember, you cannot update it until the execution is over. That means there is a possibility that you can get your craft completely screwed up, isn't it? And to sort of overcome the said problem, we have interpreters. So what are these interpreters? An interpreter is also a software program that translates a source code into a machine language. However, an interpreter converts high-level programming language into machine language line by line while interpreting and running the program. Now consider the previous example. Here, let's say the interpreter is the translator. Now when you provide the set of instructions to this translator, what it will do is, it will translate each command line by line and will forward the process and translated command to the mechanic for implementation. So this translator here is actually processing each line one by one and that's why it is named as interpreter. In between, if you find out that there is a problem with some instruction, you can update that instructions at that time itself. What I mean is, you don't have to wait for the whole implementation to finish. All you have to do is update the command where you feel a mistake has happened. The big difference between the working of an interpreter and compiler is that the interpreter does not generate any intermediary code forms. It reads the program line to line, checking for errors and runs the program simultaneously. Now moving ahead, we'll list all the differences between compilers and interpreters one by one. 
The first differentiation factor we have is the translation methodology. First, let's cover the steps involved in the compilation. First of all, you will write the program. Then the compiler will analyze your program statements and check their correctness. If an error is found in a program, it throws an error message. Now, you will have to correct this error manually all by yourself. Only then the computer will convert the source code program into machine code. After that, the compiler will link all the code files into a single runnable program which is known as exe file. Finally, it will run the program and generate the output. Now the interpretation differs a lot from this process. So it begins with you writing the source code. Here, no linking of files will happen like it happens with compiler or no machine code will be generated separately. The source code programming statements are executed line by line during their execution. If an error is found at any specific statement, interpreter stops further execution until the error gets resolved. The second differentiating factor we have is way translation happens. As we have discussed earlier, the compiler translates the whole code at once, whereas the interpreter follows the line by line translation approach. The next factor we have on our list is execution time. Since the compiler already converts the complete source code into executable file at once, the execution time becomes very less. Whereas the interpreter transforms the program line by line, which adds up to the execution time, hence the execution time will be little higher. Then the next factor we have is error detection and correction. If you want to change your program for any reason in case of compilation, either by error or logical changes, you can do it only by going back to your source code. Whereas, in case of interpreters, as the source code is interpreted line by line, error detection and correction becomes much more easy. We have discussed this with the spacecraft example as well. In case of translation using an interpreter, you can actually take a pause and change your provided instruction. But in case of compiler, you'll have to wait until the execution of said instruction is done. So guys, the compiler stores machine code of the program on the disk after translating your program file. But the interpreter does not do the same. It processes program line by line and does not store the machine level code on disk. Rather, it directly executes the instruction. Sixth differentiating factor we have is running time. A compiler takes an enormous time to analyze source code. However, overall compiled programming code runs faster compared to the interpreter. Whereas an interpreter takes less time to analyze source code as compared to the compiler. However, overall interpreted programming code runs slower as compared to the compiler. Next up is program generation. The compiler generates an output of a program in the form of .exe file that can run separately from the source code program. Whereas, as mentioned previously, an interpreter doesn't generate a separate machine code as an output program. So it checks the source code every time during the execution. Then we have execution as a new parameter. The process of program execution takes place separately from its compilation process. Programs execution only takes place after the complete program is compiled. On the contrary, the process of program execution is a part of interpretation steps in case of interpreter. Next difference we have is which translator is best. Well, both interpreter and compiler serve different purposes. If we talk about compilers, the compiled program is bound to the specific target machine. It requires the same compiler on the machine to execute. However, in web environments, compiling takes relatively more time to run even small code, which may not run multiple times. As load time is essential in web environment, interpreters are far better. JavaScript, Python, Ruby are based on interpreter model. And C, C++ are based on compiler model. Finally, we have error message. The compiler shows complete errors and warning messages at program compilation time. So it is not possible to run the program without fixing program errors. Hence, debugging of program is comparatively complex while working with a compiler. In contrast, the interpreter reads the program line by line. It shows the error if present at the specific line. Although you'll have to correct the error manually to interpret the next line of the program, the process of debugging is comparatively much easier while working with an interpreter. That's all we have for this session today. 
With this session, we learned about both compilers and interpreters along with the differences between them. I hope you got the hold of covered concept. If you have any queries, please feel free to drop them in the comment box below and make sure you hit that thumbs up button as well. Until next time, thank you very much. Also, don't forget to stay tuned with IntelliPath YouTube channel for more technical updates. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPath provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati, the course link of which is given in the description below.